everybody my name is Chris Card again and I want to welcome you to Crypto Secret X and today I want to get into you know the Bitcoin ETF the Bitcoin having and a couple of coins that I'm investing in um, I wish I, I started this journey of investing in crypto about 2021 and I've been doing now for about three years uh, started off probably like some of you just watching my videos kind of wondering like what is crypto? What it's about? Is it really worth it? Is it a scam? But the more I've been, you know, diving into this understanding of cryptocurrency and what it is, it's going to be here. Uh, and it's and it's a opportunity for uh, regular people to get into some wealth. Um, you know, I know a lot of people talk to us about real estate and different things like that. But, you know, I, I understand that a lot of the average uh, Americans are not in the position to buy a lot of um, real estate. And they have to come up with some type of way of, of gaining capital. And this is stocks, investments, is one of the most rewarding ways. It is the most trying difficulty, but it is a, it is a way in which we can earn life-changing money. Um, so let's talk about what an, an, an ETF is. Uh, a Bitcoin exchange trading uh, fund, the ETF pools, it's a pool of investors that uh, that money to purchase Bitcoin futures contracts, okay, or an agreement to buy or sell an asset uh, later on an agreed upon price. A Bitcoin ETF is managed by a firm and listed on a traditional stock exchange, okay. Uh, while it is down more than 60% from its November 21st um, uh, all-time high, Bitcoin is still up 64%. Since the start of 2023, naturally, uh, the increase of the price uh, has many people wondering how they can you know, get into the action. A lot of people are wondering, how can I get into the Bitcoin ETF? How can I buy Bitcoin? Uh, which there are so many various exchanges that you can get on. Uh, trading directly through crypto exchange can be complicated for some investors, especially older investors that don't really understand the technology. Uh, but with the introduction of the ETF uh, tied to Bitcoin, the process of investing could become much simpler for you. Uh, currently, Bitcoin ETF can only be uh, can only hold future contracts. You can also own funds that track companies with exposure to Bitcoin and the Bitcoin technology. Top banking accounts. Now, there are a lot of banks starting to buy Bitcoin. BlackRock, Grayscale, they are starting to accumulate a lot of Bitcoin because they are also, which now on the stock market I've seen at $35 a share, you can get a Grayscale, a Grayscale ET, Bitcoin ETF. Um, who should invest in the Bitcoin ETFs? And that's something that you know you want to think about. Investing in the Bitcoin ETF could be a good option for people who are looking for more traditional ways of investing in digital currency. So in other words, they don't want to get on crypto exchanges. They don't want to buy the Bitcoin and then have to put it in cold storage wallets and they have to keep up with keys. They don't want to do any of that. So the ETFs are a safer way for just you know the regular investor who doesn't want to get in all that stuff, who just wants to, hey, I want to own Bitcoin, I want to get in on the action. Uh, here's the thing, uh, ETFs remove some of that complexity of packaging crypto future contracts in the ETF forms. The ETF structure could also make it easier for some institutional investors to enter the crypto market, uh, which could help keep the demand of Bitcoin high. Uh, as you know, there's only 21 million Bitcoin. Uh, and once the 21 million Bitcoin have been mined, that's it. So now we get into what they call the Bitcoin halving. So it, there's a couple of things that's been running Bitcoin price up. Number one, um, the, the potential for Bitcoin ETFs actually put us in that run with Bitcoin a little earlier. You know, usually it starts after the Bitcoin halving, which happens every four years. Now, the Bitcoin halving um, miners, and what that basically is, is miners are given a reward for mining Bitcoin. 
It started off, I think it was like uh, they were giving 12, but it takes a long time to mine this Bitcoin. Then they were giving six, so now, you know, and, and it, it goes down every four years, which makes Bitcoin a lot harder to get. And the more you mine, the less it is, the harder it is to get. Drives the price up. It's actually in connection and close to gold. So that's what, when you get into the halving, that's basically what it is, is that we're going to have and split and actually cut down on the rewards of the Bitcoin we're giving. But because of that, the price is going to start going up higher. If you look at the, the, um, the chart after the Bitcoin having Bitcoin, uh, having let's and I, and let's talk about that because, uh, prices of Bitcoin after the having. Okay, now, when we look at um, the halving and prices, I'm gonna get to that uh, historical. Okay, let's look at that, the historical Bitcoin halving prices. Um, okay, let's see. The first halving, uh, the first halving that was in November 28, 2012, uh, and reduced the block reward from 25 BTC to 25 BTC from 50 BTC. The price at the time, Bitcoin was only $13. Following the year's peak, it went to $1,152. All right. Uh, then having two uh, came July 16, 2016, which was approximately, again, four years. Uh, the price uh, went from uh, the reward to 12 BTC. So they went uh, initially from... 20 from 50 to 25 then the second having in July 16 2016 it reduced the block reward to 12 BTC but the price of the having was six hundred and sixty four dollars following the year's peak it went up to seventeen thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars okay the having three the third having occurred in May 11 2020 it reduced the Bitcoin reward to 6.25 BTC. The price of the having at that time was 9,734. Following that having after in 2020, it went to 67,549. So now we're getting into 2024, another four years. We're up to the next Bitcoin having. Now, it did, the coin indexes the price peaking at $170,000 in August of 2025, replacing nearly near levels of $95 to $100,000. Um, some have it as high as $250,000. The having has always increased the price of Bitcoin. That's why people are in such a overall hey, all these you see all these companies buying Bitcoin. Um, now they got Bitcoin ETFs because the price of Bitcoin could be astronomical. And, and that's why, you know, they're telling a lot of people buy Bitcoin. If you don't want to buy Bitcoin, get a Bitcoin ETF because now it allows you to buy on the stock, the stock market. Like, you know, and that's one of the things. So it, it's, it's the final thoughts on the Bitcoin having of the 2024 pricing. Time will tell where Bitcoin prices really go, you know. But if you based upon past, uh, if the past, the past and the history of Bitcoin, it's going to be, you know, unbelievable. Now, what happens when Bitcoin runs up? Now you get into Ethereum running up. They have an Ethereum ETF, which is only nineteen dollars. Um, and then after uh, Ethereum runs up, then money starts going into altcoins. Now we get into life-changing situations if you buy the right coins. Therefore, I want to talk to you. I hope everybody understands what a, uh, the Bitcoin having is all about. Now I want to get into some of the coins that I purchased on my wallet um, to get into uh, the life-changing money. I talked about Bomp in another video. You can go there. Uh, I talked about Super. Super is a gaming coin. But now, one of the coins I'm bullish on, some people don't like it. They, they're, they're not a fan of it. But XCN. Now, um, the reason I'm high on XCN, the current total supply is 48,467,149. The current circulating supply 
is 26 million uh, uh, 53 uh, 20 excuse me 20 yeah 26 billion 53 uh, million six hundred sixty three thousand four hundred and seventy one the first number uh, I didn't read that right but the market cap at the time uh, you know the max uh, it it could really go um, here's the thing I got 2605 uh, with and it has a, a 21.3 percent inflation rate but also at 4.5 billion the last time they had the inflation rate that means when they add coins to the circulating supply from the max supply so they, had, they added a 4.5 billion and every time you add more coins to the circulating supply that takes away from the price of it being able to go up because what you're doing basically whatever the coin costs you multiply that times the circulating supply and you get the market cap so a lot of things what I do I look at the total and, and people do not pay attention it's a lot of times they go out on whims I pay attention to what the, the total um, uh, supply of the coins are I compare that to how much is circulating so therefore I understand the inflation rate which drives the price then I look at the usage of the to token and then after you go from the usage of the token then you go into the and after you, you look at the token the tokenomics the usage of the token then I start looking at the past prices of it and then I look at anything that's compared to that and that's coming out that could cause you know the hype to go from here to over there now when you get into meme coins meme coins could 100x because money trickulates because that's all hype it's all about community those coins have no token a lot of times they have infinite amount of circulating supply and to the retailer it looks so um uh invitable because it's so cheap so but what people don't understand is they'll get like two million and think oh man this is gonna be it most time when you got those kind of coins you need billions to see any kind of change you know those are accumulating over time um, every now and then you may get a coin that's like point zero 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 all these zeros like Pepe uh, and then the hype builds up people buy it drops two or three zeros people make an incredible amount of money and then they dump it but what happens then you get retailers chasing it again because of the hype but the money the hype is gone it's did its run now it's just kind of up and down with the market they have no utility those coins um, a lot of mean coins which Shibuya Shiba, um, Shiba, Shiba had she I would say shit. Shib has some utility. Um, I buy it, I, know, I look at it as a meme coin. I just buy it because so much has to burn off, but it it can blow up on hype. I look at Dogecoin as a hype coin, meme coin it is. Bonk is a meme coin. Uh, Pepe is a meme coin. Those are coins that you're investing in. They could a thousand x, two thousand x, all these x's. And you couldn't make an incredible amount of money but it's just it's high risk when you get into coins like xrp bitcoin and, and ethereum those that have more longevity because they've been around they have utility you can use them um xrp is is designed for the more institutional type uh you know banks bitcoin is more like a commodity to hold ethereum is a is a is a scale a layer in which a lot of dApps and things run on and then you have the other altcoins that do certain things but you know um, and, and here's some I have uh, uh, Cass is one um, I've, I've got a, a, a significant amount of Cass uh, AVAX is another one that has their own blockchain and they're starting to run gaming and gaming could be a really big uh, takeoff on this next bull run, AVAX. So look at AVAX, eight, the ticker AVX. Uh, currently, it's right now $33. I bought it like at $21. So it is up at the current time I'm speaking, 8.22%. Uh, 
H bar hasn't moved much, but I hear people talking about H bar. I do have a position at H bar, um, but if 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 I were investing, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm giving you some ideas of what I do. If I was investing right now, and and I was starting, um, I would tell you to definitely put some money in Bitcoin and put some money in Ethereum. Uh, Cosmos and the other one I would tell you as a beginner um, Matic those four long term holds put them on the side leave it there okay now if I wanted to go high risk and just say I'm putting money in I'm you know I'm gonna roll the dice Bonk Shib Pepe uh, let's see, what's another one? I, th I would go with those three. Bump, Pepe, and Chip. And a lot of people, and I, I say the last one is Gronk. I haven't been able to purchase Gronk yet, so, you know, that's why I didn't say Gronk. Okay. Now, gaming tokens. This is one of them I would go with is Super. A lot of people have been talking about Super. I bought Super at a really good um, price. I think I bought, bought in at like around 40 some cents. Currently right now it's running at 61. Um, I do have a position in Super. They're de dedicating themselves directly to gaming. Uh, I would also look at uh, Render. It's another one. Render, Render is a little higher right now. It's about $3.77. Um, Thing with Render, you know, it's it. They are also getting into gaming. Uh, they had a lot to do with the current cars and things like that. So I would look at Render. Uh, and let's see, one more gaming token that I have been buying is Immutable. Is uh, Immutable X. Alluvium. I thought about it. I don't know if it can make that run again, but Immutable X. They ha they do have some really good games. And one coin that I haven't been able to buy. That's why I didn't mention mention it. Is shrapnel, um, but those would be the gaming co tokens that I would look at investing in right now. Uh, and again, do your own research. This is just my plays or what I'm currently playing, um, and I will come back with more plays as as this thing grows. But pay attention to the Bitcoin having. Pay attention to the Bitcoin ETFs, and pay attention to putting some money in Bitcoin. If you come to lump sums of money, I would definitely be putting some of that money in Bitcoin. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. It helps my channel grow. Um, and and and, and su subscribe to the community. Uh, I'm a, I'm a uh, crypto investor. Again, I've started in 2021. Uh, right now, currently, I have roughly about $30,000, $35,000. When I first started, I was like... 500 bucks but I've, it's once you learn it it's just a matter of rinse recycle repeat rinse recycle repeat rinse recycle repeat you know and it's just over and over and over again take gains where you get gains then invest it back in in holes that you want to keep longevity you get into meme coins get in get out don't hold take profit when you get profit Again, I'm Chris Kyle with Crypto Secret X. I'm out.